The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos, unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Alright, and with that aside, hello there loyal viewers, this is WGamerX. I'm here playing Soul Calibur 6 as Libra as Soul. And for those who may not know, of last year I did a playthrough of the game where I did um all I basically just did like the dark of uh, the dark path playthrough. So I figured for this time I'm gonna I'm gonna do a playthrough of the light side, but this time with a different with a different character. So as you can see here, I'm doing a, uh, I'm going to use a female outcast this time instead of the old, uh, pop, the old dapper looking skeleton man I made. As you can also see what I'm doing here, she's going to be buff, or as some, I've seen some of the inner lingo say, brick, with two C's. Yeah, nothing like a... And you wouldn't expect this type of character as a like cat girl, huh? <laughs> now this is a character. This is a character. If you've seen my uh, showcase for my custom characters in this game, then you probably recognize this character. This was one of the characters I made in that appeared in that showcase. Oh, I accidentally pressed back. And this was. I'll, I'll be honest. Through her, like. Not only just through her build, but through her design, which you'll see when the game, you know, gives me the chance to um, change her clothes. This character I made, it was actually inspired by um, uh, Fable 2 when I, unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't get to beat it, but when we played that, the character um, ha Hammer, or Hannah, that's been, she was like this really buff, okay, well, so you just like this me. buff chick, so you I... You look I decided nice to make a character for that. You look nice and tough. I, I'll be honest, I took pictures of the stats I have made you look when I made nice this, so... I will be showing... Don't worry. I won't show you the um, clothes putting on part. Just... Just this for the hell of it. I'm just going to show you this initial part. Yeah, we got that. Uh, gotta make her... I gotta remember the color of her hair. <laughs> I gotta go through the pictures on my phone that I... Yeah, here we go. And... Boom. You gotta give her nice... Bright... Green eyes. I guess that if you consider that bright. <laughs> We gotta make the uh, the old cat ears. Yeah, I admit, match the uh, match the drapes. Admittedly, when I first saw, I remember immediately when I first saw this race when they um did that made the trailer for the uh, for the character creation. I legit thought those were rabbit ears. I was like, are we making our rabbit? Can we make a rabbit girl in this game? Or I guess a guy. Can, it's not limited to the girls, but you can. I'm gonna make a rabbit in this game. But nope, there's a cat. Just a, a really long-eared cat. And with that... I, this character... Funny enough, that's actually the weapon I gave her when I made her in this game. But of course, per this playthrough, I'm gonna have to switch around if I'm gonna give her something stronger. And with that, her name... Whoops. Gretchen. And that's, the, and that's how you can tell I already made this character, because... They saved the name.
If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. Alright, so we start a little journey here. Time for our convergence. Get these lovely uh, images from, I believe it's supposed to be a reference to Soul Edge, or I guess Soul Blade. I kind of prefer the name Soul Edge, but it was interesting that the game is called Soul Blade. And I think, was it called here in the US? I don't remember. When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was the nightmare I had, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet, but sought but strong-willed. My name is Zosalamel, and I know what's happened to you. You were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a Malfestor. But I'm afraid you may not escape death. So, I know, but just, just a little refresher. What is the evil seed? It is a great evil that burst from Western Europe as a torrent of light and rained down around the world. And what is this mouth did you say? There are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary. But some are known to become monsters. Many Malfestas lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Oh, I accidentally pressed the button. Oh well. At least I really done this already, so I, feel, I guess it doesn't really matter that much if I accidentally skip it. But what about my nightmare in the headache? Your body does not appear to have been effect altered by the evil seed. However, it has affected your soul, leaking into what is called the Astral Chaos. The Astral Chaos is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and your headache are a sign of what is to come. And with that, I shall accept. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. Alright, but before we take care of this little fisher, let's go put some proper clothes on, so if you shall excuse me. And here is our lovely hero. Nice white and red robe with, with the show kit showing off the guns and the hands. Let's go through this. Alright, let's see let's take a look at this good old astral fisher. And now so yeah, you got this thing. <laughs> the air was stifling, and each step forward required an amount of effort. Zoslano, however, seemed, seemed to proceed unfazed. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. Hmm? That is a natural fissure, a rip in space and time. It is caused by the great power that flows through the earth, an evil dispersed by the evil seed. To continue living, you will need to obtain the power of the Astral Fissure. Naturally, it is easier said than done. Astral Fissures exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone who weak who dares approach it or turn it into a Malfest. However, when someone with great power approaches, comes the great responsibility. A flashlight will will bring you with it a visitor. Roar! Don't just sit there surprised. Looks like you've got a fight on your hands. Alright. We need to pick on someone your own size. Pick up these six moves. Did you didn't expect moving from someone this, this big, huh? Oh. 
Uh oh, already one fight in. I'm already, I'm just whopping this dude. I mean, I know it's the first fight. Let's see if I can get this point of work. I can do a little combo I like to do with this fighting style. Alright, can I pull it off? Nope. Oh, yep, got it. Yeah! And stay down. Yeah, I love doing a little combo, just launch him up with that reversal edge and this get him with the rebound with the critical edge. The attacker burst in the particles as of light that soon faded. Those freakish warriors, berserkers appear when the strong approach an astral fissure, perhaps in response to their power. Berserkers come from the memories of warriors who saw strength. To defeat them, you must simply become stronger. There is no other way. However, you can obtain phenomenal power from the fissure, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to the astral chaos's attempts to devour your soul. If you can withstand the astral chaos, you will no longer have to fear for your life. Now, Claim your power from the Astral Fissure. Encouraged by Zosalamel, I thrust my arms into the Astral Fissure. A surge of light burst forth, flowing through my arms and into my body. My heart pounded as my body began burning feverishly. As long as the scattered evil and the Earth's power remain, Astral fishes will continue to appear. I hear that there is another astral fisher on the outskirts of a village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. Sasamel revealed a set of scales on top of which fluttered on one, one blue flame and one red flame. These are spirit scales, otherwise known as the lever of soul. Take them. Your body is overfloating with energy from the astral chaos. It is the power of chaos and of the order. The state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will reveal to you which way your soul is leaning. It should help you maintain control. Now, you must embark on a journey to save your life. So long. Right? And of course, as it starts, you get a bunch of EXP. Chapter 1. The Journey Begins. Alright. Before I do this little mission, I'm going to do a little something different. So we have this area right here, which I never went to last time, called Jonas Dojo. It's basically where a place we can go train. And well, knowing a girl like her... You can't maintain this body without doing a little training, so... I won't do this all right now. I'll do this each chunk at a time, and you'll see why. First off, let's start with the basics. And yeah, it says complete because it's I've done these in another playthrough, but... The hell of it, let's just do this. I learned of a highly respected martial arts martial instructor in India named Drona, praised as the very model of a warrior. I made my way across treacherous mountain paths and traversed crumbling ledges before finally reaching my destination. A dojo surrounded by purpley mountain streams. To one side of the dojo, a diverse young group of young warriors were enthusiastically practicing with weapons, having come far and wide. I'd heard many of them come from royal and noble bloodlines, unlike their master's humble roots. Hail, hail, traveler! What business do you have in so deep in the mountains? I told him my name, that I'd come here to learn. Well, Gretchen, I never refuse anyone with a desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I have earned the ire of the local king. If you stay, you too may find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded, and he continued. Very well. I will train you. But before we begin, let me see your skills.
So yeah, this is just some basic stuff. Like, yeah, movement. Yeah, I got it. Ah, you're pretty good for a woman your size. And of course, there's attacking. Yeah, the old, uh... Bam, bonk, bonk, bink, bonk. <laughs> the cool little front flip in the end. And yes, the basic combos. I'm not gonna go too far into reading all these, because it's pretty basic. And now guarding. I must protect thy face. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, damn it. Let's try to see if I can do it right as he did right as he swung. <laughs> Smack. Now the old crouching guard. I'm like a true crouching kitty cat. Yeah, and we have the, uh, yeah, low attacks. And yes, this thing we saw me doing earlier, the reversal edge. And bam! Oh, go foot to the face. Go smack him. Yeah, come here, you. And this little baby, the critical edge. I'm gonna do this first. I gotta do my own practice this old. Or actually, or that's right, I can't because if you try that. Oh, never mind. Oh, still didn't work. But I forgot that. This guy, even if you do the mock battle in the character creation, he will block your robust sledge every time, so... And now the soul charge. Ah uh, yes, the old anime power-up time. He's just gonna sit here and let me just beat the crap out of him until this meter runs out. Did you just say not again? Aw, oh, damn you. Oh yeah, now, yeah, this was from, and of course this thing, which was actually added later to the game, which is, which makes you do the attack, which, yeah, the attack that makes you into, um, makes you automatically go into Soul Charge. And now we've got a simple fight. Yeah. Bring around the Rosie. Damn cow! Come here, you! Yeah! Now I love that combo. You you appear to have mastered basic fighting techniques. Master Jonah's expression grew clouded. Let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down on me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. And yet, when the time came, I still could not defeat him. It turned out I was unable to use the technique when the chance came. My folly became evident. Instead of focusing on learning a crafty technique, I should have worked on improving my fundamental skills. So I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals. When I was satisfied, I went to challenge him once again, but I was too late. 
He had lost his life in a war against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son who claimed vengeance against the one who slew his father only half a year later. Now he is a warrior even more skilled than his father was. Take this letter of introduction. If you ever have the chance, you should pay him a visit. I took Master Jonah's letter, thanked him, and left the dojo behind. <laughs>